Hey everybody, what's going on? This is Polio Jr. And I actually just wanted to show you guys a really, really cool um, program called Dereks Boot and Nuke, um, also known as D-Ban. And in my experience, this is uh, the most, the easiest, simplest, most efficient way uh, to completely erase and eliminate um, and completely wipe any hard drive uh, that you are interested <laughs> in destroying all of you know any files that you've had on there that you want to make absolutely irrecoverable so um, basically when you have um, when you just throw files into the recycling bin and empty out the recycling bin all you're really doing is just uh, eliminating the references from the operating system whether it be windows or whatever the case may be but you're just you're, you're erasing the references to those files but those files are still basically able to be reconstructed that's why they have that um, you know the recoverable software that allows you to bring uh, those files back to life and DBAN is actually a free software uh, and this is actually the website right here um, oh, this is the best download that I found is sourceforge.net slash projects uh, slash DBAN and it comes as an ISO image so on this you're only going to need two things and that is really um, well you're only really going to need one thing but besides the actual ISO image so what we're gonna do is download the ISO image uh, from uh, SourceForge and then from there we need to be able to burn this .ISO to a either a CDR or a CDRW um, either way it's it can a CDRW can become bootable as well or you can also mount it uh, onto a USB thumb drive or you could also have it as a virtual drive as well and so what I'm gonna do is just save it I already have it saved on my desktop which is fine but you know and so or whatever I'm just gonna click it sorry so we're gonna click it and then it'll download yada 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 and I'm drinking my coffee as I speak to you and once it is done downloading so it's, a, it's about a 16 megabyte file and typically it goes a lot quicker than that so once that's finished up uh, you can just go to wherever you saved it or wherever all, all your files are saved to and here's mine right here uh, it's the dband uh, 2.3.0 whatever it is and the other program that you would need like I said is something that would burn uh, an ISO image and power ISO is probably one of the, is the most popular and one of the best ones still out there and it has been for a while and so I'm just going to continue on registered and you can just google power ISO and download that as well and from there um, you can just drag the ISO image file in there but what I tend to forget to do is to make it a, a bootable image so that when whatever you're using this for so what I, what we're doing today is I'm gonna put it onto a CD-ROM so I'm gonna just click burn and then from here I'm gonna select the image file click here and I'm gonna go to desktop and I'm gonna go to DBAN which is the one that we want to make a bootable CD so when when the computer starts up um, you know depending on your boot sequence in the beginning of uh, when you turn on the computer uh, it'll load up dban first so and so just put in the uh, and I leave this unchecked actually the finalized disk no further writing possible you know why not it doesn't matter I mean you can if you want and I just leave the ver verify written data alone as well and so you just put in your, your the CDR or CDRW whatever it is I don't have anything in there right now but you would just click burn and it would go through and go to 100% and then it would eject the CD-ROM 
and that's basically it. Um, so you just want to make sure that um, you have that image file selected um, so that it will burn and that it is a bootable image because there are times that I've I've done things like this and then you know put it in here and done it like this and it would just burn as a data uh, data CD instead of um, what you call instead of a bootable image so make sure you definitely burn it as a bootable image uh, the, other th the other thing you can do is you can actually make a virtual drive with this so I'm actually so I'm gonna unmount this drive and I'm gonna mount um, the D-band as well this is just to show you another way so I can actually mount that now I can go to computer and I can actually well, let's see I think that'll actually only come up as let's see yeah so anyway don't with the D-band don't even worry about it um, just boot it onto um, a CD-ROM or a thumb drive and that's it for right now don't even mess with the with the virtual stuff it's not I don't even think it's meant for that anyway uh, there definitely are softwares out there that are capable of doing that but for D-band you just need to boot you just need to burn it to a CD or a CDRW uh, or mount it to a USB thumb drive and then from there you would um, restart the computer and select which drive you want to load up whether it be the CD-ROM drive or the um, or the thumb drive and then I'll take you into the next sequence uh, from the CD-ROM drive uh, and how to go about that and it's really really simple so and we'll go to the next slide okay so we've burned what I've done is burned uh, the Reek's hard drive complete data wipe to a CDRW actually which works perfectly fine and I have my camera zoomed in, but I'm putting this inside of the CD-ROM drive of my laptop um, because I have a hard drive within my laptop that I want to get rid of, uh, that I want to wipe the data off of. So I'm going to turn this guy on. And I'm actually going to go to F12. It gives me a boot option. And in here, if you can see, let's see if I can try and zoom in. I know a lot of people are familiar with this, but um, it gives you um, options on which device you want to load up first. So, and in this guy, it is it comes to it's a CD slash DVD slash um, CDRW drive, and that's the one I'm going to hit. Um, but typically, if that doesn't come up, you would just go into your BIOS. So. And now it gives you the options here on what uh, you want to do. And the best way um, to do this is to um, just go into the automatic mode. Uh, the F2 key and F3 key, so the F2 key and the F3 key are basically just uh, more informative uh, function keys than anything else. Um, and also, um, well, F2 and F4 are informative, and F3 gives you a list, list of quick commands. And enter is to go into interactive mode, which is a little bit more user-friendly mode. But if you're just right here, and you're basically similar to a DOS prompt, you are just going to type in what it says at the bottom here, right here. It says, enter auto nuke at this prompt to start D-band in automatic mode. And that's all you really got to do. So I'm just typing in auto nuke, exactly what it says, and I'm hitting enter. And what's nice about this is A, it works, um, it, wor it can work with uh, the IDE slash ATA hard drives, uh, it works with SATA hard drives, it works with external hard drives, it works with the uh, I believe what are called the SCII or yeah, SCI hard drives as well. Um, and then on this option, uh, it even works with anything that's ra if you have uh, rated um, devices as well, it'll do that. So and then it's just going to go through these prompts and so forth and do and go through its thing. 
but and then it'll kind of give you a percentage and what sector it's in and all that good stuff and then basically once it's complete um, I've had uh, you know software like this that you know is supposed to which always worked but sometimes it would take longer than a day to completely see yeah, the SC or sorry SCSI is one of the ones um, that would take longer than a day to erase, you know, completely wipe all the data off so that it is irrecoverable, <laughs> if that's a word. And so far, um, the Darix Boot and Nuke, this is 2.3.0, uh, is still up to date. Uh, it's, it'll go with any sort of uh, hard drive that is available on the market there are very few from what I've read and seen that it does not work with um, but I've already done this I already used this program with another hard drive and I couldn't recover anything off of it absolutely no so it definitely it definitely works and it definitely does the trick and there's not a lot you have to do um, if you are a little bit more uh, in tune with computers as well um, you can use uh, Power ISO uh, on your computer and run this as a virtual uh, ISO, so you're actually running it inside of Windows and do it, you know, and erase a different hard drive uh, as you please. So you can erase, you can do this to thumb drives. You can, like I said, you can do it to a, the old uh, ATA slash IDE hard drives. You can do it to SATA, you know. All, all the SATA drives, the SC, SCSI hard drives, um, external hard drives, uh, and all that good stuff. There are very few that do not come up, um, but in the beginning it might look like it's taking its time, but it will eventually go through its process and so forth, and then sort of just give you the option to uh, to exit and to shut down. So, um, so here we go. Now it's running. Now it's actually going in. So I'm trying to zoom in the webcam here as, as best I can so that it doesn't look like shite. And right now it's saying, okay, we're at 0.2%. Um, so it's going to be at 1% very soon. Round one of one, past one of three. And it's just going through and, um, and just, just step by step by step getting rid of every single thing that is on uh, on the hard you know that is on the hard drive so that is completely not just yes it gets formatted but it's completely wiped there's no information on this hard drive whatsoever um, it's basically just a completely empty partition once this is finished and even though right now uh, you know it's on past 103 uh, and approaching 1% believe it or not uh, that's actually a hell of a lot faster than a lot of the other software that is uh, currently available. The other software does work, but like I said, I've had software take, uh, you know, hard drive wiping softwares take one, you know, take one day, take, you know, uh, two days sometimes. But this one actually took only a, a few hours, and it says the, re the remaining time up here is two third, two hours. Uh, and 39 minutes, and which is nothing, absolutely nothing. So, and that's why I like booting up the ISOs, so that you not you know to run it inside of another software. You're just running the ISO by itself, um, you know, and and that's it. You know, you're not running it inside uh, Windows or whatever other uh, operating system you're using. You're just running it straight off the DVD, and that's all. So you just let it run through this. It does its thing. It's it's all very automatic, and it gives you the prompt before you start. You know, you sure you want to. You know, this is doing this is going to clear all of your is going to make any information that was ever on this hard drive um, completely uh, non-existent, and you'll never be able to recover it again. So it's a really good thing to have on a personal level. And it's a really good thing to have, uh, even if you do some sort of a computer repair and things like that, uh, because for you know, there's a lot of people out there that create a lot of amazing programs that do uh, really, really excellent work. If you know the same, if not better, than 
uh, ones that you have to pay for, and this is one of them. So, uh, Darik Sabut Anuk, this is version 2.3.0, and right now I'm actually uh, erasing a SATA uh, 2 hard drive off of, uh, off, my, off of my laptop right now. And that's all I got. Just wanted to show you guys that nice, simple, free hard drive cleaning, wiping uh, software that is um, free to use and uh, and really easy to to uh, operate and, and handle. So the rest of it is just waiting, and that's all. So hope you guys enjoyed this video, and um, I'll have some more soon. See ya.